Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, day number 278 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today our quiz comes from all the way on the other side of the country, Hacienda Heights, California, submitted by Chris and Athena. They've given us a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. There's 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and good luck. On today's quiz, question number one. What word works for all of the following? The projection on the blade of a tool such as a knife by which the blade is held firmly in the handle. The name of a Chinese dynasty that ruled from 618 to 907. An American drink mix brand that has been closely associated with the U.S. human spaceflight program. What one word works for all three definitions? The answer is tang. Question number two. This word of French origin means using the lips, facial muscles, tongue, and teeth in playing a wind instrument. What is the name of this technique when done properly that allows musicians to play their instrument at its full range with a full clear tone and without strain or damage to their muscles. The answer is embouchure. Question number three, the remains of this king were discovered within the site of the former Greyfriars Priory in Leicester, England in September of 2012 and were reinterred at the Leicester Cathedral on March 26, 2015. What is the name of this king that was the last English king killed in battle? The last English king killed in battle was King Richard III. Question number four, these Paleolithic illustrations were found on September 12, 1940 in a hole in the ground in the woods near the village of Montignac in southwest France. What are these paintings, dated to about 15,000 BC, that show bulls, oxen, horses, and stags, as well as arrows and traps? They have a specific name. These are known as the Lascaux Cave Paintings. Question number five. This group was founded in 1912 and has been Hawaii's leading organization for protecting the beauty of Hawaii ever since. What is the name of this organization that has expanded its scope to include green space protection, view plane preservation, and tree advocacy? What's the name of the group? The answer is the Outdoor Circle. Question number six. Created in 1941 to give American soldiers a chocolate snack that would be easily stored and wouldn't melt, its longest lasting slogan was the milk chocolate that melts in your mouth, not in your hands. What is this multicolored button-shaped chocolate candy that bears the initials of both creators? This seems like a pretty easy one. The answer is M&M's. Question number seven. With its eye-catching plumage and wide distribution, this bird is a popular motif on many bird-themed decorations, holiday cards, and ornaments, as well as a popular sports mascot. What is this most popular state bird that is the official state bird of seven U.S. states? Bonus points if you give me the specific bird. The answer is a cardinal, specifically the Northern Cardinal. Question number eight. This domesticated variety of the wild cardoon, native to the Mediterranean area, is a species of thistle cultivated for food. What is the name of this vegetable whose edible portions of the buds consist of the fleshy lower portions of the involucra bracts and the base known as the heart?
This is a very complicated way to describe the artichoke. The answer is artichoke. Question number nine. In 1956, while attempting to create a heart rhythm recorder, Will Con Greatbatch mistakenly added an incorrect electronic component that caused the device to produce electronic pulses instead of recording them. What is this device, invented by chance, that helps an unhealthy heart stay in rhythm? The answer is a pacemaker. Question number 10. This war was the shortest war in history, lasting only 38 minutes between Britain and Zanzibar and was fought over the ascension of the next Sultan in Zanzibar. This fight, which resulted in a British victory, was fought on August 27th of what year? The answer is 1896. Question number 11. This character first appeared on chance and community chess cards in the US editions of Monopoly in 1936. What is the full name of this rich uncle depicted as a portly old man with a mustache that wears a morning suit with a bow tie and a top hat? The answer is Milburn Moneybags. Rich Uncle Moneybags. Question number 12. This insect, member of the suborder Anisoptera, is often seen basking in the sun and wing whirring to help generate heat before taking flight, as their wing muscles must be warm to function properly. What is this insect that has six legs, like all insects, but it cannot walk? The answer is the dragonfly. Question number 13. This planet is often called Earth's twin because of similarities in their masses, sizes, and densities, and their similar relative locations in the solar system. What is the name of this planet that rotates in the opposite or retrograde direction to Earth? The answer is Venus. Question number 14. This U.S. state is home to more than 40% of the country's surface water resources, and its capital can be only reached by a boat or a plane. What is this largest state, bigger than the next three largest states combined, that is also the only state that can be typed on one row of the keyboard? The answer is Alaska. Question number 15. This clonal organism, whose name comes from the Latin for eye spread, represents an individual male quaking aspen and is assumed to have a massive interconnected underground root system. What is this single largest organism that is as large as the smallest country in the world? It is called Pando. Question number 16. Hibernation is a state of animal dormancy that takes place in the winter. It's characterized by inactivity and lowered metabolic rate. What is the name of the dormant state that takes place in the summer rather than the winter? It's hibernation if you do it in the winter. What is it called if you do it in the summer? The answer is estivation. Question number 17. This woman, born on November 7, 1867, was the first woman to teach at the Sorbonne and also the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. 
who is this woman who was also the only woman to win the Nobel in two different fields, physics and chemistry? This woman's name is Marie Curie. Question number 18, this lake is one of only two known lakes in the world that have a third order island within it. What is the name of this lake on the island of Luzon that has an island called Volcano Island that has a lake called Crater Lake that contains its own small island called Vulcan Point? The lake we're looking for is called Lake Tal. Question number 19. The American version of this series premiered on May 31st of 2000 and to date has had 662 contestants in over 42 seasons. What is the name of this show that has the contestants compete in physical and mental challenges and are progressively eliminated by being voted out by their fellow contestants? This popular reality TV show is called Survivor. And question 20. This pyroclastic igneous rock, the only rock that floats, has long been used as an abrasive in cleaning, polishing, and scouring compounds. What is this rock that has also been used as a lightweight aggregate and precast masonry units, poured concrete, and acoustic tile? This pyroclastic igneous rock is called pumice. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Make sure you check back tomorrow. It'll be day number 279, October 6th. We're almost done with the first week of October. This month is already flying by. I've recorded all of these episodes before I left so it's going even faster, but by this point, October 5th, I'll still be in Las Vegas, I'll have gone to Death Valley, I'll have done the casino stuff, I'll be probably spending most of my time at the pool because I've lost all my money at the blackjack table. Yeah, I think that's about it, and I'll be home sometime late next week. Question 21 for today is, the Knott's Scary Farm Halloween event has been a staple of the Southern California Halloween season for many years and was one of the first theme park events to feature mazes and Halloween themed shows. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, hosted the first event in what year? That's a good one. The answer is 1973. Whichever player got closest to 1973 is going to win the point Congratulations. If that was a tiebreaker and you just won the whole game, double congratulations. See everybody tomorrow for day number 279.